welcome back to Weeby Kids again. My name's Danny, I'm one of the founders at Weeby Kids. I'm an outdoor educator and a storyteller. If this is your first time at Weeby Kids, know there are over 250 free resources for you to use to help get out into nature and improve your well-being. Today, I'm up in the woods because I want to tell you a little story. And this story is a folk tale from Burma. And it is called How Friendship Began in the Birds. Because did you know that not too long ago, none of the birds got along? All of the birds would fight. Every day, one bird would come up to another. They'd look at each other and one would say to the other, I'm greater than you. And the other one would say, no, 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 I'm greater than you. And within a flash, a fight would begin. And they would fight until one of them was so tired that it would fly away. And this went on amongst all of the birds. The robins fought with each other. The blue tits fought with the great tits. The magpies fought with the thrushes. The owls fought with the kestrels. All across the whole bird kingdom, the birds were at war. Until one day, the pheasant was scurrying along on the ground when it bumped into a crow. And the pheasant, not feeling in the mood to quarrel and argue, looked at the crow and said, Crow, you are a fine bird. Your feathers are beautiful. Your beak is strong. Crow, you are a finer bird than I am. And the crow looked back at the pheasant and said, Pheasant, you too are a grand bird. Your colours are magnificent. Oh, you, you are way finer than I am. And they both looked at each other. And in that moment, they both saw the beauty in each other. And they decided that they loved that. They loved that feeling. So they went off. And they found a tree and they lived together. And for years and years they lived in each other's company. And this time together didn't pull them apart. This time just made them closer and closer and closer. But all of the other birds in the bird kingdom saw this happening too. Chatter went out amongst the birds. What is going on? Why are these two birds not fighting with each other? And one day the robin flew down to the crow while the pheasant was out and said, Crow, crow, crow. You don't want to be hanging around with that pheasant. I've heard him saying all kinds of terrible things about you. You should go back to fighting him. And the crow looked at the, the robin and said, No, robin. That crow is a true friend of mine. I know he wouldn't speak foul of me. And then the next day, the great tit flew down to the pheasant and said, pheasant, pheasant. While you were away, that crow's been saying all kinds of terrible things about you. And the pheasant said, nope, I'm sorry. I know that the crow would not speak foul of me. For the crow is a true friend. And the birds flew back up. They were totally perplexed by this. Until one sunny morning, the crow and the pheasant called them down and said, Birds, each and every one of you has a gift. And those gifts are better shared through friendship than fought over through being too proud. We invite each of you to turn and find the gift in each other. And each of the birds turned and the robin looked at the great tit. He said, great tit, your song is so beautiful. And the great tit turned to the robin and said, robin, your red breast brightens up the darkest day. I am always grateful for it. 
And these stories of gratitude and of thanks and of appreciation spread throughout all of the birds. And from that day on, all the birds began to learn how to be friends. So I hope you enjoyed that little story. It's a really, really simple story about friendship, about seeing beyond our own ego and looking at the gifts and being grateful for everybody that comes into our lives. So thanks for stopping by at Weeby Kids and we'll see you again sometime soon. Bye. Thank you.